Hey guys, so today is uh, it is officially May 1st, um, and last night at 5 o'clock p.m., um, South Carolina um, sent over a new court order. The old court order expired um, on May 1st. It was set to expire today, um, but yesterday at 5 p.m., they brought in um, a new court order, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions, um, and I have Chris Lubsack with us today, and he's going to answer some of those questions so we can get some clarification. How's it going today, Chris? Hey, good, Liz. Thanks. Yeah, nothing like waiting till the last minute, literally the 11th hour before sending a new order out and create panic today. So let's go. Let's knock a couple things out. Yeah, yeah. Panic uh, for sure. <laughs> All right. So first question um, is, what does this order say about the eviction cases that can be filed? So the original order that the court entered said that uh, the court was going to be closed for business until May 1st, which of course is today. The new right. order says that courts are going to reopen for business, but not today. They're not going to reopen until two weeks from today, uh, May the 15th. But they were very clear that that is the final date, barring some strange turn of events. We okay. know now that it's going to be May 15th. Okay, well, that's that's good to know. Two weeks out. Um, so, what does the order say about cases that were filed already, but no hearing has happened yet? So, the existing cases that got filed, they're going to have their hearings rescheduled starting with or starting after May fifteenth. So, okay. in the next few weeks, we should be hearing from courts. Uh, we expect that the courthouse staffs will be notifying us about hearings that are going to be scheduled. But the judge, the chief justice, ordered all hearings for cases. Uh, that have already been filed to start okay. being scheduled and heard after May 15th using new courthouse procedures may include telephone hearings, may include video hearings. There's going to be a lot of changes you're going to see, but we don't know exactly what yet. Okay. All right. Um, so what can folks do to get prepared before May 15th? That's not, that's well, not long. No, no, we got two weeks. So the most yeah. important thing is that um, the uh, local apartment associations have asked Thomas Howard of Brownlee Whitlow and Prate and me to uh, have a webinar on Monday, two o'clock okay. on Monday. So the most okay. important thing you can do is contact your local affiliate, either Joy Davis at the USAA uh, or the, the Columbia Apartment Association or the Charleston Apartment Association are both going to have uh, signups as well. So join okay. us on Monday at two o'clock. We're going to have a much bigger, broader discussion of the order and we'll okay. be able to do a lot of question and answer uh, directly with you live. So make sure don't miss it on Monday. Awesome. Yeah, most definitely. We'll be sure to, to have those links, you know, registered or so that way you can register for that um, on Monday. So we're really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time today and answering some of those very pressing questions. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. We'll talk to you Monday. Okay.